Assalamu alaikum and a very good day to everybody. This is my first participation in the International Conference on Sustainable Mobility. I am really excited to join this conference. My name is Muhammad Zairi bin Baharu from the Faculty of Mechanical and Automotive Engineering Technology, University of Malaysia, Pahang. Today, I will share with all of you on the topic of pedal error among car drivers, a review on the research approach and setup. This is a collaboration project between University of Malaysia, Pahang, Asian and CAP, and University Technical Malaysia, Malacca. For today's presentation, I will begin with a brief introduction about the pedal error, then why we did this review study, followed by the findings on the research focus, target group, research approach, and setup. In the end of my presentation, I will share also our current uh, research progress for the Anchor 3 project. I like a quote related to our study from Brackett et al, which stated that movement of the foot from one pedal to another is a blind positioning movement. We didn't see our foot movement during driving. Even though the causes of accidents identified in Malaysia are quite general, sudden unintended acceleration or SUA is one of the issues which causes injuries and deaths every year on the road. In Malaysia itself, sudden braking is one of the critical issues highlighted as one of the sources of road accidents. SUA is an unintended, unexpected, and high-powered acceleration from a stationary or moving condition accompanied by an apparent loss of braking effectiveness. For instance, the unintended acceleration may happen when a driver intends to press his or her foot on the brake while shifting from park P to a drive gear, D or reverse R gear, but ended up step on the accelerator pedal of full throttle acceleration and cause a crash. Moreover, variability of driver's foot movement might lead to the driver miss the brake pedal completely. The further the foot from the intended pedal, the larger the potential errors to be occurred. Ladies and gentlemen, this figure shows the statistics of pedal application errors as reported by the USA National Highway Traffic Safety Administration or NHTSA in year 2012. Over a total of 196 cases reported, 56.6% occurred because of foot slip, while 45.4% happened due to the drivers press the wrong pedal. The driving circumstances surrounding the pedal crashes are avoiding an obstacle hit by another object, driver was distracted, vehicle stopped, slowing normally, and turning. Therefore, there is a need to further research in order to have a better understanding of the reasons for the driver's foot behavior during normal and emergency braking situation under various circumstances. Our Anchor Tree project entitled the Test Setup Dummy Positioning or Overall Setup Reflecting Asian Driving Behavior. For this project, we line up two research questions, which are first, how to conduct a study to determine the Malaysian driver's foot placement on pedal and the total emergency braking response during the normal driving and emergency braking situation, which is to be answered by our objective one. And secondly, what are the sources of foot placement errors and factors which contributing to the wrong pedal placement among Malaysian drivers as our second objective. Ladies and gentlemen, for this review, we line up several objectives which are we would like to know what are the research focus in the pedal error study, who are the participants involved in the study, what kind of approach or method used to perform the pedal error study, how is the test setup, test conditions and the flow of the study, and lastly, what are the factors influencing the pedal error accidents. We search for relevant articles based on these five keywords which are the pedal errors, pedal misapplication, sudden unintended acceleration or SUA, automotive foot pedals, and the sudden acceleration accidents. After screening hundreds of papers, we found only 45 relevant articles, which is really focused discussing about the pedal error study. The research was conducted in several countries such as Japan, Canada, United Kingdom, United States of America, Sweden, China, and France. Based on the review, we found that researchers attempted to investigate the factors which might cause the pedal error, the correlation between pedal operation and the driver's workload, and to understand the fundamental principles 
of pedal misapplications. Moreover, to date, several studies also focusing on the ergonomics topic, where the sitting position affecting the accuracy of stepping on the pedal to explore how the elderly use their accelerator and brake pedals to investigate the characteristics of pedal errors by older drivers related to SUA and also the construction of test setup and apparatus for the pedal error study. Talking about the target group or who are the participants involved in the pedal error study, we found that most of the researchers are focusing on the older drivers. The participants each range between 30 to 65 years old or even older. From several studies, it is found that the pedal error rates were significantly higher for the older drivers than younger drivers due to the longer reaction time by the elderly. Besides that, the rates of accelerator error were consistently two or three times higher among the older drivers. The first approach used by the researcher to perform the pedal error study is the naturalistic driving. It is a study undertaken to provide insight into driver behavior during everyday trips by recording details of the driver, the vehicle and the surroundings through unobtrusive data, gathering equipment and without experimental control or use event-triggered ray video recorded during the naturalistic driving to experimenting the factors that might cause the pedal errors. The naturalistic driving has been done by several researchers at the slope mountainous roads, a figure eight open track at the roadway comprising urban, suburban, and rural stretches, or even at an empty parking lot on a simple rectangular course. This figure shows the location of cameras and sensors place in the car cabin to study the pedal error using, using the naturalistic driving. Most of the researchers place the camera on the car windshield and at the foot well area, which aim to capture the driver upper body, face, foot, and looking forward. Ladies and gentlemen, the second approach implemented for the pedal error study is by performing a driving simulation study. A driving simulator allows the participants to feel a lifelike experience of driving an actual vehicle within virtual reality. Driving simulation commonly used to study the interaction of a driver and vehicle for human factor study, vehicle safety research, or development of a new vehicle systems. Most of the researchers place the cameras near the steering wheel area to capture the image of the participants and the foot movement on the paddles. Several test conditions used are the activation of a red brake lamp or using a series of simple visual stimuli like the colored field circles. The given tasks during the simulation study are such as free driving, braking tasks, car following, pedestrian obstruction, vehicle obstruction, lane change, and curb driving. Several situations during the study are listening to a radio or doing a conversation using a mobile phone. Based on the review, we found several factors that influencing the pedal error. The factors are driving workload, which is the additional task given during the driving session, the sequential effect, which is the influence of incidental experience on subsequent experience when individuals perform a series of tasks, and the Q modality, which is when the driver was stimulated to stop or accelerate by visual, audio, or both. Moreover, distraction, interruption, avoiding other objects, and hit by other objects are also identified as factors which influence to the pedal errors. Ladies and gentlemen, before I ended my presentation, I would like to share the current progress of our research about the pedal error study. This visual shows the force measurement system. A customized force sensor was developed by Sandwich the value start and the conductive material and connected with the DAQ control box. The force applied was recorded and then data is transmitted to the smartphone via Bluetooth connectivity to display results obtained during the experiments. In the meanwhile, the schematic diagram illustrates the connection of each electronic components with the pedal force system. Therefore, this system will measure the force applied on the brake pedal and time taken of leg response from emergency induced to press the brake pedal. This is the instrumented car equipped with the force measurement system and the video cameras for the naturalistic driving. 
We are currently finalizing the setup of this instrumented car and will perform several tests to measure the reliability of the whole system. We hope to run a pilot study in a month time once this instrumented car is ready. Meanwhile, we also built a driving simulator to perform the driving simulation study and observe the foot movements on the pedals. We just finished developing this 3D modeling of the whole setup and we are currently in the stage of to purchase the materials and equipments needed for the simulator. We hope that in a month time as well, the simulator is ready to be used for the study. To conclude this presentation, we found that the pedal error study can be conducted either using the naturalistic driving, simulation driving, or survey. The test setup needed will be based on the approach used, whether an instrumented car or a simulator needed. To recruit the participants for the study, we found that the elderly or older drivers have high pedal error rates, and it is a must for us to include the older drivers for the study. The factors influence the pedal error for instance, the distraction, interruption, or avoiding other objects will be considered to be included as the test condition. Lastly, we think that this pedal error study among the Asian drivers is essential as there is no study related to this topic has been performed in Malaysia or even Asian countries yet. On behalf of our research team, Mr. Zulkifli and Dr. Hasnan from University of Malaysia Pahang, Dr. Juf Rizal from University Technical Malaysia Malacca, and I are hired from Myros, I would like to thank you to all the IECSM 2020 participants for your kindest attention to this presentation. Thank you.